Situated halfway between Prague and Vienna, the small town of Terich in the south of the Czech Republic was once an important center of trade. Here in the 12th century, settlers drained great swamps and established the first timber-built dwellings on a small headland between huge ponds. In the 13th century, this small settlement was protected by a castle, and in the 14th century, it was granted the status of a city. Today, Terich is considered to be the most beautiful medieval town in the Czech Republic. Magnificent buildings flank the lengthy marketplace, a fine example of architectural harmony. In the middle of the square are two Baroque fountains. And a sinuous plague column that dates back to 1717. In the Great Fire of 1530, all of the town's timber buildings were burned to the ground. In the years that followed, a market was established which added a further vibrant aspect to the Gothic, Renaissance and early Baroque buildings around it. Each building has a picturesque arcade of approximately the same height, and one to two-story buildings with three arcades line up like pearls on a string. The sight of these cultural treasures takes one back to bygone days with bay windows and graffiti turning back the pages of time. The town hall has a portico and a high gable with beautiful stucco contours. As Terich grew, its citizens were also given both brewing and salt rights that duly helped them to prosper. A deceptive sight, the cleverly crafted facades make it look as though the buildings contain an additional story. Not so. Everything here is clean and tranquil. The two towers of a Jesuit church crown the upper section of the marketplace and seem to provide protection for the single tower of the Holy Jacob Church. The square also allows access to the castle that is located beneath the church towers. In the mid-16th century, this former Gothic water castle was the property of the noble Lord of Hradich. It was subsequently extended and transformed into a magnificent Renaissance castle. The 
The work was undertaken in two stages under the direction of Italian architects. Zacharias of Hradic was heavily influenced by a trip to Italy during which he became captivated by Italian Renaissance design. The first rebuilding stage was the responsibility of architect Antonio Vlach, and the second, a far more demanding task, was supervised by Baldassare Magai of Aragona. The small main courtyard is framed by single-story Renaissance arcades and multiple access points. A modest door is the entrance to the small All Saints Chapel. The funeral chapel of Zacharias von Hradic and his first wife Katharina of Wallenstein. Their gravestones lie beneath a magnificent wall and stucco ceiling. The main entrance to the castle is via the courtyard with three arcades and a terrace. Castle tours begin in the treasury, which contains a number of splendid illusionistic sgraffito paintings. Beneath the starry vault of a former armory, a pathway leads to George's Chapel. On the first floor is the theatre room with murals above the fireplace. Next, an intimate library. And a small room with a folding cupboard made of exotic wood. Also an African room with various wildlife trophies. Good views of the tournament courtyard. This is the knight's room with a square coffered ceiling that dates back to 1570. And numerous suits of armor and well-preserved weaponry. The Golden Hall is the castle's most imposing room and fills the entire north wing. Its ceiling is decorated with octagonal coffers, masterpieces of the art of wood carving. The last owners of the castle were the Liechtensteins, whose rooms, such as that of the Red Salon, were highly decorated. The men's chamber features historical beer mugs of tin and earthenware. And in the Count's apartment, Delft porcelain plates. Terich is an historical treasure and a UNESCO World Heritage Site.